another edition of the Next Advisory V Leader, and we're in the bloody city by the looks of it. What's yeah, going on here? Yeah, I am way out of my comfort zone in the CBD. It's an unusual location for me to come to, avoid it at all costs, but for the third edition of the V Leader, what have we been up to? We've had a fair bit on the plate, mate. You've been doing some very serious tax advice, which is always scary. Yeah, something a bit, uh, well, not unusual, but pretty exciting just to mix things up. Yeah. Uh, we've got a client over in the US. Uh, wanting to come and do business in New Zealand, so we've given them some advice on how to structure that, not only for today, but the next five or ten years' time. Uh, I've also been busy doing a business valuation for a client for some tax issues with the shareholders, which was quite interesting. Uh, and what else have we been up to? We've got a great client who is pausing university for a bit and going oh, all yeah. in on their business for the next year to see uh, if they need to go back to university, which is pretty cool. So we're determined to help them clock that so that... The they... university of life he's now going through. He is. Yeah, so love it. So staying tuned with that. And then we've, we had the big boys breakfast on International Men's Day, which was exciting to have 50 uh, people in the room talking about men's health and uh, we've had a few great speakers. Massive credit to you. You put uh, this had a vision where you wanted to pull it off, and you did. Uh, Fifty people came along. There were four, five speakers. Yeah, five. Yeah. And the beauty about it for me was they no show ponies, no big big noters yeah. in terms of that mental health men's space. Uh, it was all the ordinary dudes with real stories being authentic, and I think a lot of people on that morning took a lot of it. Um, away from it uh, and that it's all okay. Yeah, it was great, no heroes, and we had uh, Sarah help, really help pull it together, who was with us for nine weeks from AUT, and I had it all up here and put it on a whiteboard and said, okay, we just need to make that happen now, and yeah, I think she was like, she holy did. shit, but she did, so yeah, An heap of fun. Exceptional job. Yeah. PWC, you'll go well with her, don't worry. Yeah. And speaking of heroes, we've got one here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's me. A uh, genuine one too. Currently awarded. Yeah. Yeah, and an and awarded chartered accountant. I did, I picked up the Young Regional Advocate for Chartered Accounting in Auckland. There's 12 different regions between Aussie, New Zealand and Asia. Yep. Uh, and out of those 12, the president picks one and they win the overall award and from that, uh, they win $1,000 and that's donated to charity of choice. Of choice. So we need to start a charity, mate, just in case we win. Done, uh, and just, just so that everybody knows, what are the current odds at Ladbrokes for you to win? Uh, I'm probably two to, two to one, so I'm fairly confident. Yeah, no, <laughs> I would be as well. I'd back that. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. We'll keep you posted on that. But it's pretty cool to get a bit of recognition yeah, uh, it is. in yeah. the industry. And You've done a lot. Yeah, a bit of a, um, a tip of the hat to some of the things that we've done. Unfortunately, you know, it was a young award, so that might be why Phil <laughs> didn't yeah, quite Yeah, a little qualify. disqualified there. But oh, anyway, well. we, we carry on. There's still plenty to do. Christmas is coming very, very quickly. And yep. of course, we will be around the place, so if you do need help from us, then know that we're not going to go bloody AWOL and disappear. So if anything uh, pops up that you guys need help with, you can get in touch. Absolutely. We're always in cell phone coverage, so reach out. Uh, if you don't, have a great time. All the best for Christmas. Hopefully you'll hear from us before then, but if not, then enjoy yourselves and take care of the families. Catch you later.